Hi, welcome all of you to the next session on this uh, uh, fusion procurement contracts. And then Abhay has uh, given a good document now. Right? We'll not go on and set up this. There are three things which needs an approval. One is a class which needs an approval. And then uh, the other one is what? Your terms and conditions needs an approval. And then the contract needs an approval. So we have already said that what's called, we had already approved both the warranty classes actually. Know that you want to <clears throat> so I will not log out of it and then I will not log in with the other ones. I will not log in to my sign out and then sign in. So it's Jaden. Let's go EMP1. And then we will not sign in. So we go inside and then we will not go to the terms and then we will not have a look at the. So you know, go to the contracts comes as a separate one. Now, fine, not on the procurement actually. And contracts will be coming as a separate one. From the, you know, go to the terms later. Right? There we are performing all the services. In the contract, the contract will be done. And then normally the business practice director will be having the terms directly. And then uh, in, depending upon the company's uh, policy, they may have a separate uh, terms library uh, man, which is going who is going to author the contract and other things. No? And not authoring authoring the classes and the things. And then the contract will be done by the contract administration. But if uh, there is only one person, he has to manage everything, same thing on the terms of And then we are given the, uh, what's called, uh, the rule accordingly. If you see this now, we are given the rule. <coughs> so one application itself, what happens, he's having the business practice director, as well as the contract administrator, as well as this one. The center one is uh, the supplier contract manager, contract contract team member, is for releasing the POs actually. Otherwise, POs cannot be released. All the three things have been given to the same user. But depending upon the requirement, you have to do it accordingly. Then go that on it. And then you'll know how to look at the class. No point so you'll know go to the magnifier account and then look at the class. The classes are starting in 20,000. No point 200. You put it in the click on search. Now show both the classes in their approval. Both the warranty as well as your approvals. So warranty and then uh, so many people have already created all this. My login. Okay. So mine is what? Jaden B. It's a free form. <clears throat> So we have now created two classes of form class. So uh, the type is of what? A JTEN by free form. Remember, the type is basically you know, only for information purposes. They do not have any uh, significance as such. No so we have a warranty and insurance class. So we have to create. In really countries, what happens? You'll be having 30, 40 classes of a company. Now. Reliance Industries, you know, they, they are going to have 30, 40 classes. And then the, the, the contract administrator has to choose which class will appear, up, apply for a particular contract. Actually, Say, for example, if he is not going to create a what's called, he's not going to buy a car, and then both warranty and insurance he has to add. Whereas if he is not going to give a what's called a, a supplier a maintenance contract or a, a refurbishment contract or some other thing, fine. Then warranty and insurance has got no, no role to play. So that is where he has to choose and then do it. Now fine. The entire module is for what so selecting the classes and then putting it on a contract. That is the module. Fine. That is the ultimate module uh, purpose actually. That has to be done. Now we go there. We go on. Find the point. We will now go to the next activity called what? The template. Now find template. We are going to create. <coughs> Click on create. Find the point. And then before which we will now experiment on uh, Abai is the one now. Find the point. So Abai has already told about how to uh, what happens. So configure automatic approval. So he has not told. You know, do the automatic approval for both terms library as well as you are uh, this thing. <coughs> go there. So I will now go to two. And then go to the place. And then he has given document. I already uploaded it now. Go down. I will not go to the what con contracts auto approval he has given. Let's stop. We are going to try it. The one, go there. So he has given about how to approve it actually. So let me go there and then free. He is saying that what happens this can be done for contract class approval as well as a template approval actually. So I have already uh, uh, done the contract class approval. So the template approval as well as the contract approval, I am going to do it. So I am going to do it. So go there, click on you know, go to this place. It will not take up the or stall you with this thing. No, fine. <coughs> go to the manage common CRM, uh, not this one. We'll have to go to what? Manage task configuration for customer relationship manager. You know, take it up and then go there and then we'll not wait. So click on the name and then uh, go to the setup and maintenance. And then from there, <coughs> we're going to go to the generic search area. Click on it. And then we'll go to the generic search area. And then we are going to set up automatic. <laughs> Please mute, no mind. We are not speaking. Please mute. So, what is the manage task configuration for customer relationship management? And then you can even query on a star actually. There is no query on a star. So, put a star here. 
and then give a go right this one here not enter now right? give a search the task like in the crm it will not show you so we will not go to the proper your uh, contract approval right uh, contract class approval is there and then uh, you have a contract approval <coughs> uh claim approval uh approval down below okay contract class approval contract 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 approval contract approval yes we will go to the contract approval here yeah. so we have a contract approval now we are going to change it to what automatic approval we will not refer is document than do it so click on the contract approval so that will be coming up over here now <laughs> but uh abhi if you have uh, the code for uh, the job supervisor and position also please forward it So go to the assignees. Thank you, assignees. I'm not going to make it change to automatic. I will now click on one. This is the only one which is enabled on the software. Click on contract approval. Click on it, and then click on the contract approval on the bottom. You will be having a pencil icon. You can even click on it, and then you can open it up for editing it. Oh, if you click on it, it will only show. I think we had edited now. Right? Go, go back now. Go back to assignees. Let me click on the edit icon. I click on edit icon. It has to come as an edit mode actually. I will now click on the edit icon. So go there. I think we have to enable the edit also. Right? The left hand side talk edit task. Uh, no break it. Click on edit task. So go to the assign is. Click on the assign is, and then it is not coming. Through. So click on the contract administration thing. That again, what happens? You click on the edit. Now I am in the edit mode. So I am going with that. Oh, it is only for name change actually. Right? That edit is only for name change. How to go back now? Yeah, I have to click on this. Nana, uh, can you go there? A uh, red, uh, sorry, blue dot is there. Yeah. yeah. Create approval on the yeah. right hand side. On the right hand side, blue dot is there. Very no 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 no. This one, this one, ah. Huh? Yeah. If you click on it, go to rule. Oh oh oh, fantastic point. So he is saying that you click on the blue dot on the one now. Fine, it will not take you to the good rule. Excellent, excellent. And then you will not expand it. Now it is a buy and sell. Fine, expand it. So no there. So click on buy and sell. Not coming. <clears throat> now the if condition he has now made a change. Now fine, no go on the how about this condition. So what he has put is what if one is equal to one, that is what he has done. Let us now also follow it. So let me delete it now. Okay? One of them I will not distribute it out. Go right to my cut, and then I will not cut it. Cut it. Right, another condition doing it. So he is saying one is equal to one. One is one. Once one is equal to now. Okay? Uh, one. What is the thing he has given now? Okay? One is one. Na. Uh, what is it? Can you make it big? No, fine. One is one. Actually, yeah, one is one. One is one. That means what? It is always true. That is what he means. No, fine. So the if condition is not done. If one is one, then afterwards what happens? You know, going over there, not going to connect. So we'll not go on that. Do it. Fine. List builder is supervisory, and the response step is required. List builder is approved group. How to make a change? Yeah. Hmm. This builder has to come as a supervisor, you know. <laughs> uh, Nana, you will have to delete that one. You have to delete and then do it after show. Yeah, you have a yeah. You have a new one plus. Select it and then delete it. Okay. So click on X now. Okay. X is okay. Yeah. yeah. X. Delete action. Okay. Delete action. Not delete action. I will not add an action. Thank you. Not add action. You can press it. We're going to add action. Ah. Uh, add approval. Thank you. Not add approval. I will not say automatic. Now, when approval group, job level, position, resource supervisory, come on. Yeah, it's supervisory. The supervisor. Oh, it is also saying supervisor. Now, yeah, yeah. This builder is supervisory. Very correct. I will not choose add approval as a supervisory now. Right. So it is required. And then number of levels is one. Fine. Number of levels is one. And then required supervisory. And then starting participant. He is saying that what it is a hierarchy builder dot get principal now. Uh, actually, E or E R, give a tap. No, see that comes up. Ah, uh, it's not coming. No, go to hierarchy builder. Get other one. Hmm. Uh, Nana, I would suggest just copy paste that from Excel file. It is not a possible domain. It is a, a screenshot actually. No, no. Ah, uh, to just scroll to left. Oh, here it is written, ah. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh, starting part is done. Okay, fine. Do that. So let me copy paste now. Yeah. The full one. Let me copy paste. Okay, okay. <clears throat> take take over it. Put it now. Go there and then paste. Okay, come on. Okay, no. It's really very difficult here. <laughs> Top part is <participant>. done. <laughs> Go there. Oh, he has written it. Come on, yeah. The top participant is written. Number one. 
the work place no one at least whatever if it works for a thing for all the things then you can even use this document actually and the top part is there auto action uh, enable is true now auto action enable is true what are we there now right approve and that's what rule name is what rule name is by and let it be ready auto action is approved auto action is approved it is a within double quotes isn't it right it or o v e double quotes just have to remember it is within double quotes approved fine rule name is okay rule name is okay that's it fine go there will now validate it good excellent fine so from this place here do it now everything is now done so click on validate i will now validate and then we'll see so you know see validation lock message anything is coming nothing is coming yeah, this is what is all okay now okay so give a save and then commit it give a save now you know set test okay okay now okay now the task is now saved successfully and then it will now publish it also click on publish and similarly for the terms also we'll now make a change you know you go to the assignees and then have a look at the okay and then So now go to this place, and then go to the rule directly, and then have a look at it. Okay, go to rule. So now we're going to find by and then expand it. Some blah 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 is coming here. Now find the starting and top participants are really very difficult. So apart from that, everything is okay. But let us now go to the uh, what's called your terms approval. Now find that. So for the terms approval, uh, what is the one? I don't know. Query on terms now. What is possible? Terms possible. Then you go. So the term template of course, you know that. We don't bring it to the edit mode. So good designings. And then here, the only one. I will go to the rule here. No friends, straight away. Go to rule. And then bring it to edit mode. So edit is is already in edit mode. So it's already in edit mode. So we go there. And then I will have to what designings edit mode. Which template one? approval. Template approval. Template Last one. Rule is there. No, no. Here oh, rule oh, under rule. Oh, oh, uh -huh. Template approval. Oh, so I will now expand the by now. Right? Rules. It is template approval. Right? Because I thought it is already in edit mode. How come it has come to edit mode now? Right? So this also we have to delete it. Right? We we'll go there. We will now do the same one only. Right? I will now have to make it as a supervisory thing. Right? Right? So delete it. Right? Not delete. It. Delete it. And then here, what about that? What about that? What about that? Let's give a plus. Give a plus. Uh, click on plus. Drop it down and then go to add approval as a supervisor. As a supervisor. Nana, if condition be change करना पड़ेगा. Condition also needs to be changed. If also needs to be changed. So we'll now change to one now. One is one. One is one. One is one. Now. Oops, I click okay. One is one. Okay, click on. So number of levels is one now. Starting part is when we go there and then take it up, take it copy it. So similarly, somebody develop for a job and supervisor also. This uh, starting top everything etc. etc. Whatever is required for job and supervisor, so that you can do it. So starting part is when top part is when we go. So this is for automatic approval. So this is true. So auto action is what uh, approved. And within double quotes. APP or O V E double code. That's it. Fine. The by code is okay. So click on save. So the rule is now made. Any any mistake? Nothing. Nah. Fine. Click on save. And then I will say test now. Okay. Now there is some cell cell rule too also. Cell rule is not required for us. No, it is only for contract. Right. This is let it be. That you know, learn it through <coughs> when you learn projects and then through selling, you know, understand. <coughs> And that's it. It is now published. Right? We now successfully saved it. Now we have done it. We will not come out here again. <laughs> If you go and then have a look at good assignment, and then yet whatever you click on the rule, and then have a look at it. Whether everything is there or not. This place. And then click on the template approval. And then by rule expand it. So here everything is coming now fine, but it looks like it is not in a saved mode now fine. Okay, here the the save and the publish is not done, uh, grayed out. So okay, it is not showing you. So if you validate and then uh, see whether the save and enter by now is coming now fine. 
you know, validating it. So click on validate again. It's validated, no error there. But the C1 commit is not coming. That means what is all okay. But let us now go harder and see whether uh, the terms of uh, template is not getting approved. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, you know, change it to what? Your auto approval now. Now we'll not go there. We will now create a terms template. Now, the rule has to be done. Now, finally, let us now complete the rule part. We go to the terms library. And here, we were doing it now. Fine. So, we have already created a constant now. Fine. Constant has been done. We'll now go to the question and then have a look at it now. Fine. We'll have a look at the question actually. Have a look at it. So, the name is what? J10. And then, uh, how to see the question? Not, not this, not the way. So, we have to query on this. Now, fine. Click on it. We'll now go to the questions and then query. Whatever it is. We'll now go to the questions and then query the question now. So, data, move on. Let's see how far it is. I'm not very sure about it. Click on search now. Data is the person. And then we will now select it and then whatever is now enabled actually. Fine. Edit and then have it. So, you have to write a, what's called description to the contract administrator and then he will now decide whether the class is required or not. So, it is a numeric constant and then we are unable to add a variable actually. Find the question. So, it's evaluation. So, the questions, the question is now created. You may have to create some 10 or 15 questions. And every question is going to what? Add one class actually. <laughs> one class is going to be added. None of the purpose, purpose of this in the question rule. Yeah. 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 I will love to So we are now created a constant. The constant says is what? It is more than six now. Right. The constant. So for every value, you have to create a constant. Remember the constant. If you go on and see, right. you have to create one constant. Right. You don't go on and look at the constant now. So you don't go on and look at the constant. So you don't go there. Go to the navigation and look at the constant actually. Click on the constant. So, if the contract administrator is going to respond back with the different different values, you have to create that many ones. Now, right? now here this is for six. Now. Let us say for eight or for four. If you are, if he is going to respond, and then if they more than four or more than five or more than eight or something like that, you have to create that many constants. So, contract administrator is going to respond. Respond on the on the on your question actually. So, on the on the basis of which the classes gets inserted actually. So, you have to create that many. Now, let us now make the rule. We are going to make a rule. We'll make a rule. So constant and constant added will now go on and create a rule. <coughs> so for every class insertion, you have to have a rule. Oh, that you yes, this is one. Type is a what? Class selection. Fine. It's not a policy. I don't know what exactly they mean. Fine. I have to make it now. I don't know. So I know only class selection. Fine. Oh, that one. I will not say J10. <coughs> I will not say uh, insurance. Insurance class insertion. So this rule is going to insert what insurance class basically. This rule is going to insert insert is by. So J10 insurance class insertion actually. Not take away for the description. This will be inserting the insurance class. So here on the conditions, I'm going to add the condition. If I click on plus now, I'm going to add the condition. So let me add the condition again. So the condition is getting added. So here it is not a variable, it is a question actually. It's not a variable, it's a question. So question name is what? J10. And then give a tag. J10 and give a tag. So evaluation. Operator is what? More than that. Greater than that. So if he is going to answer the question that is having a description that he is going to answer and then he is going to give a value. And the value is going to be more than that. Click on the edit values on the right hand side. Click on the edit values on the right hand side. So we are going to give what? One of the numeric constant. Over there. So that you want. I will now make a what's called a constant now. J10. And make a search. Right click on search. So this is the one. So click on okay. So if he answers more than six, because this constant is having a value of six actually. So if he answers more than six, we are going to insert a class actually. The result is what? Insertion of a class. So at this stage, if I try to save, it will not save at all because the result, the result has to be done. The rule has to have a result now. Fine, because save. So a class selection is a must. A class addition question fine. What is no, that you want? We have to go there, go to the results and then add a class actually. The we have to say which class is going to be added based upon the question. Fine, click on plus one. I will now add the insurance class for that. So I will say J10. Now both the classes will be coming, they are approved now. All the approved classes will be coming on J10 now. So you are having insurance class. And select it and then click on OK. So if he answers more than six, this class gets added to the contract. This class gets added to the contract. This is the result. We can even have additional questions. Now. So many variants are there. And then afterwards, what happens? The terms template is not yet made actually. Once we make it, we can assign it also. Right. We are designing so less than uh, six. What will happen? Less than six means what? This class will not be added. If he answers anything less than six on a scale of one to ten, blah 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 blah, you are good right now. And then if he gives an answer of less than six, this class will not be added. No, no, but 
you are not able to correlate where it it will you will come to that will will you will you do it or not where it will not get added we will not have it so this is the rule and then the template is not at ready and so we are unable to add it give us say no i will not activate it after the template is created i will not come and activate it actually so the class is not the rule is not half made actually the rule is half made and what that called the rule is half made let us now go and then create a template and then afterwards what happens you know populate on the rule actually so this one i will not activate it right this class the rule do not have any approvals remember approvals are only for what your uh, contracts your terms uh, terms as well as your uh, what's called class contract terms and class has got only approvals whereas rules has got only activation i am not activating it because it's not fully complete you can cancel it i will not save and close save and close now let us go and then create our template let us go and create a template we will not go and create a template so we will not go to create template now. <clears throat> uh create template is where create section create terms template fourth one from the top okay create imp import classes analyze classes create templates okay the one so we are now going to create a template click on create template we will now be creating a template let us go there and then create a template go there click on it is a j10 for the terms template the terms template i'm going to bind it so you can even write in a simple language you know simplified is only going to be a simple text one but nobody prefers the simple simplified one simplified will allow you to only have a description basically it always goes for a structured actually it always goes for a structure that's what you want the logo for a structure right structure is the best way to do it so you know go on and copy this one go for a structured actually that one no problem And then the layout template, drop it down. And then he normally what happens is that it's a basically a terms template. Fine, go there. Contract terms template is the one. That's the template you're going to. And then I will now say you know take copy it and then put on the instructions also the same. The instruction. Language is American English. Go there. Enable manual terms refresh. Enable it. And then it normally global actually. When global is not coming, I don't know where exactly. and it is a majority of the people will enable the experts if an expert is available the contract uh, contract uh, what am i administrator can easily uh, what am i add a class the entire module is what adding classes to your contract is the entire module which you want to add which not to add <coughs> okay the classes which you add <coughs> so if you enable it it will be doing it and then they also make it as what mandatory also expert classes are basically mandatory notify before section creation actually So this is a team. The team also will be doing it now. And then you know how one of the section is a default section. Let me get search for it. So you know, go to G10. You know, say warranty section. <coughs> this is a default section. And the experts are enabled actually. Go there, click on it. And then what are the document type which for which the terms template can be associated? Go there, click on it. In the bottom, what happens? Go to the actions. And then you know how to add one. Click on it. The ad is not coming. Maybe you have to save now. Right? Only when you save at this stage, the plus symbol will be coming. Give us save now. The terms template. I'm not saving it. Then the plus symbol will be coming. Wait for it to save. Yeah. Now the plus symbol is coming. So at this stage, you have to give us save. <coughs> Other good actions. Other good ad. What are the things we can add? So this template is for what? Drop it down. I will now choose my J10 lines free form. This we can use. So this template can be used. So whenever you have a contract for the lines free form. the template gets auto populated on your contract actually the template gets auto populated in your contract for the contract that's the one fine and then uh, it was not happening in my previous training now fine tell me whether uh, i will not make it the default i will not make it the default i will not make it the default and then apart from that this template this terms template can be added to very many people fine click on plus one we can add it to what you know say click on it drop it down i will now put an rfq on them show it so we can even put an rfq or rfa or auction also so i will not show an rfq this can be added actually right and not on rfa and not on auction actually and then click on plus now i will not put it on a pivot also i will not make it on a pivot also so where is the pivot blanket purchase agreement is there last but one last but one okay standard purchase order so we can even put on the blanket purchase agreement and then contract purchase agreement wherever it is enabled there only the j10 template can be used no and otherwise it is not possible So we'll Nana, one question here. Nana, one question. Can you please open the drop down? There are many LOVs are there, but it is yeah. not showing. Here. 
like the negotiable uh, non disclosure agreements and then the auction. non disclosure agreement is not a uh, what's called a yeah, uh, what's called type of a document basically non disclosure agreement is there but uh, here this non disclosure agreement is uh, basically what whatever you have created as a contract type which, there you can see i will not show you you, you want to see the non disclosure agreement i will not show you no 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 no, no i does not want to i just want to only understand there are many values are there, but it is not being used across the purchasing module. So what purchasing is the model will not use a non disclosure type at all. This is not a uh, it's called line at all. These are all these are all not lines. Right? This is line. This is a line. Right? This, this is a byline is a line. So whatever we have as a line, then what happens is they will be coming on the purchase order. The remaining will not come into the purchase order at all. <laughs> NDA will never come into a purchase order at all. The non disclosure agreement. It is on the, huh? it is on the sales side. Sale agreement. No, no, only for the buy only. Let us say you are my employee. Fine. I am not telling you that you will be what happens. You can give a notice period of 30, 30 days from each side. And then you'll be getting 30 days uh, or I'm going to leave in a year. And then other things. Right? You'll be given a laptop which you have to return back once and you go back. Fine. This non disclosure agreement will be having so many classes and then it will be signed by you and then given to me. So against which I will never issue any purchase order to you at all. Got it? So NDA is a document which will be legally valid. If let us say, if you're given a, what's called a resignation, and then if you want an immediate relieving, I will not say, please pay the notice period pay. If you don't pay, I will not relieve it. Even if you go to the court of law, it will not be valid at all. Because court of law always supports employees to a great extent actually. But here, the NDA very clearly says that only no 30 period, 30 days period is required. So for this notice period pay has to be given. So even if you go to the court of law, it will not be valid. So between you and me, there is no PO at all. Got it? Okay. So such things are coming under contract section. Similarly, with the supplier also, we will be having a uh, what's called a big contract for his uh, what happens legal obligations. So the contracts are mainly meant for legal obligations. It may even also create a purchase order. Fulfillment is an additional activity. If you have lines, then we can fulfill it. If we don't have any lines, we cannot fulfill it all. Got it? So I'm not going to show you on an SPO. RFQ also will not show. So these are documents which you can very well make the terms. For. Click on save at this stage. Save. Now go there. I will now say this template is going to have classes. I click on classes. I will now go to the classes, and then I will now add the class. The template is now going to automatically add the class. You see me whether anything automatic is there or not because it's not coming for me. We will now see whether I now made one thing that this is a default now. Right? This I made a default. One of them has a default. So we will now see whether this lines form will be automatically populating the template information or not. Right? I know I'm manually adding it to the last class also. I don't know what is missing from my part on the setup for the automatic actually. Like if anybody, anything is there visible, please tell me so that you know. Now so go, go to the classes. I'm not creating. Anasa, do we enable the global checkbox in general? I don't know. Let us not do it now. I will not enable it. From the, I don't know that this is going to cause a problem or can you know, make it as a global. One. Global is basically across BU. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no safety. Any other uh, deviations you are finding it out? Fine. In this place, I don't find the translations are okay. The, ah, it's all okay. I don't find any other deviations. Okay. Now, I will now go to the classes. Go to the classes. Now, I'm going to add the classes. Go to the actions, the add section. And first of all, add, add, add a section. So go there. I will now put a new section. Data. And then I will now put it. I will now say a warranty section. Fine. So click on I'll be adding a section. And then afterwards, below which I will now add a class. I'm going to the list and then click on add class. I'm going to add a class. And again, put JTA and then warranty class. I'm going to add it. Very important. And then I will now add it. So, warranty class. I'm going to click on apply and then click on it. It'll not happen. So, we have a section and then we have a class added. If you drop it off, you can see Now, for the deliverables, what happens? Uh, you will be putting the deliverables over here. Click on the deliverables. Click on the deliverables. And then here, what I will do is I will now add a delivery. Click on, right, click on plus. So what are all the things he has to deliver actually? So what you will do is first of all, we will now uh, what I will, I will now create a what's called a file now. <clears throat> One second. Okay. 
I will now open up and then I will now create a file actually. I'm going to go to the file and then go to the new one. I will now call it as a deliverable. So thank you very much. I will now save it in the stream. I will now go there. I will now put on the import. I will now say J10. Deliver. So they continue. I will say uh, deliver the late mission before twenty fifth September. And then afterwards, what happens? Uh, supply warranty and guarantee certificate. Before the twenty eighth September, educate our <clears throat> machinist, machinist on the usage of the length of the usage of the late mission. Before was the thirtieth September, thirtieth. Likewise, you'll have. Plenty of deliverables being created. So the deliverables may be tangible ones. Fine, these are all tangible ones. So these are all. So these two are tangibles basically, and then this is a non-tangible one. Fine, they're not deliverable. So your deliverables will be a combination of tangible uh, and then the non-tangible ones which he has to deliver. Actually. And then go there. The deliverables is now created. Close it now. Now what we do is we now go there. Click on it, and then we are going to get a deliverable. So now say J10 deliverable. Get in there, but getting it. So take a copy of it and then put on the description. And then the comments also. Right? I'm not saying. So it's basically type is what contractual. Right? It's basically contractual, and then you have to supply this. Right? Respond, resp responsible party type is what internal now. Right? I will now put the internal party contact name. I will now say EMP uh, one, and then I will now say J10. Uh, J10 underscore. I give it up, the underscore has to come automatically. You know, see, yeah, it's coming. I will not take a copy of it, and then from the request is also so. So, if there are different people, then what happens? Their deliverables will be monitored by somebody else. The requester may be somebody else. Also. So, it may be a one time deliverable or a repeatable delivery, repeating deliverable, depending upon this. And fix this. And what date you are going to say, right? By 30th, everything, all the deliverables, the tangible and non tangible has to be done. Right? And the notification prior to due date. On status charge, fine. You can even enable all these things on the escalate after due date. Fine. All these things, notification will be escalated to the appropriate people. Yeah. So that emails must be very proper. And then afterwards, you go to the attachment. After having uh, done this, you go to the attachment. On the attachment. And then we'll now attach our deliverables. The file which he has to he has to deliver it to. You go to the attachments. And then here we are now going to attach the deliverables. So go there. And then here I will not put a plus sum, so I turn on plus one. And then I will not say choose a file. And then I will not go to this page as well. And then J10. J10 there is a thank you. So as per this, he has to deliver both the tangible as well as the non-tangible ones. You can even have multiple things to be attached to. So the deliverables for the a terms template is now created. Give us save. Let us give us save. And then rules, if you go there, what happens? We cannot create a rule here. Rules can be only seen here. So on the rules, you will not put the template. The rules you will not put the template, and then that will be visible over here. The rule will be visible. Right? On the rules only, we can put a template and not vice versa. On the template, we cannot populate any rule at all. The rules will be coming automatically over here. If the translations for the language. And that's it. I got that point. So this template in general, what happens, it is now having what uh, the J10 lines free form we made as a default also. So it's all done now. And then it is contain, containing this many classes, some four or five classes will be there. Right? As a template, if you apply it, these classes will now come automatically on a contract. Actually. They will all be coming automatically on a contract. Actually. So J10 template is there. So everything is not done. You come submit. So once when you submit it, it will now go for approval actually. It will also go for approval. So it's a J10 template. Fine. The templates are starting on the 30,000, I think. Fine. The, long, the numbering, I'm unable to see at all. Fine. The only name is coming. Numbering is nowhere coming. It is a draft, actually. I don't know why the numbering is forming. Somebody uh, tried to find out where to say the numbers of the template, actually.
Whereas we can see the numbers of the classes as well as contracts, but templates numbering, I'm unable to see now. So click on submit now. So it is automatically set. I click on submit. It has to get approved automatically. So JDS template is now submitted properly. So it's not giving. You must fix all errors resolving this. Model. So there is error now. Uh, what is the error now? Error. What is the error now? Error is zero. No error. Zero error. Zero errors only. Errors are zero only. Actually. Errors are zero only. Otherwise, you have to resolve the errors. Actually. Errors are zero only. Fine. There will be many warnings which will be coming if you are adding on the class itself. Fine with that. I will not give a cancel. Fine with that. I will not show you. If you add, what happens? Right click, right click, and then duplicate. And then I will not add what happens uh, if you are adding it in this place. I will show you. You go to the contracts and then you go to the terms. Now. We'll have a look at the classes now. You go to the one. <clears throat> so go there. Because the classes are starting in 10,000, not 10,000. Oh, no, they are going in 20,000. 20,000 and then make a search for it. And then if you add any variables there, it will be giving you a problem. I don't know. Uh, click on this one. Okay. Open it up. And then the class text. We can very well insert the variable. So in this place, if you insert any variable, then that will be giving a problem actually. And then if the value is not properly done, then it will be giving a problem. Because if it make a change, I had again submit proper role actually. So here, uh, if you are inserting any variables here, right? the variable is not coming here in the text actually. But when you are editing it, it will not come insert variables. So so many variables can be inserted. And then if the variables it is unable to fetch on the what's called terms, it will not throw an error. It will not throw a warning at you. It will not throw a warning. It's a terms template. So, what a, so here, uh, we don't have any problem at all on some the classes. This class is not having any, uh, what's called a, this thing now, right? If you click on the uh, warranty one, you can even see this now, right? Click on the warranty, you can even see it actually. You can even look at it. Oh God. You select it, and then you can even edit it, and then you can see it. You can have a look at it. So you can even have a look at it. So this order cancel. <clears throat> Go there. And then the terms template will now again requery. No, so now requery and then do it. Now go to the place. Go to the templates. Terms template. And then here it is coming only as a name, remember, not as a number actually. Name, make a search now. It will now edit and then it will now submit popular actually. Select it and then this global actually. Uh, you can only preview also find where that's correct. I will click on it. Now, my template level, we cannot take any risk, which we have told yesterday. Which one is it? Risk, 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 risk. Certain risk, uh, of course, risk will be coming only on a contract and not on a template. Risk will not be coming on a template, but will be coming on a contract. So, go to the classes. No, find the classes. The classes there. So, let me submit it. Click on submit. It says zero warning and zero errors. Not zero warnings and zero errors. Click on submit. It will be going for an approval. So once when it goes for approval, it will be visible on the main area itself. On the main dashboard itself, it will be visible that it has been submitted for approval actually. On the main, okay, fine. Uh, you will save and close, no, fine, you know, submitted for approval. Pending approval is now coming. Uh, save and close, and then come out of it. So here, in this place, click on done now. Fine. This is the main dashboard of the terms library. So here, if you click on the submitted for approval, it will show you which are all the things that are submitted for approval. I think probably it may have got approved. Otherwise, it will be getting listed over there. And then whatever is in the draft state, the template or a classes or a rules will all be listed over there. This is basically for import. When you're importing it from external systems, they will all be coming under adoption classes. Basically. It's an adoption. I never done it. So you can even try. Fine. That is also a normal class. Adoption classes also has to be uh, what was approved by the appropriate authority. When you're importing it, they will all come under adoption classes. So it's not done and go there. We'll now go on and query your template now and we'll now see whether it is approved or Terms template, J10, click on search now, fine. And then submit for approval. It is an automatic approval, fine. It is approved. Fine. Automatic is really good, fine. So all of you uh, tell what happens to your person now, fine. Or Abai <coughs> has not done a beautiful one. So Abai has given you automatic approval, uh, what happens to your text actually. So we'll now expect him to give it for jobs, position, and supervisor also. If he gives it, that will be excellent. So whenever the customer asks for, he can use that uh, particular uh, coding and then I can now create, make it upload. upload. So the term template of it. Now we go to the rules and then insert our template. On. In EBS, it usually goes to contract terms, library administrator or AMA approval. Here, how it goes? It's also going to contract terms, administrator. Only, right? The terms, the terms library administrator. Whomsoever is having this role in this place, if you want to have a look at it, 
Like if you have business practice director, will be basically working on the terms library actually. If you have this role, that person will be having it. That person can access this terms and then work. The notification can be sent to anybody. That is a different one. Notification part is a different one. So it's not done. We'll go there. We will now go to the rules and then query your now go to the rules. There's a thing on it. The terms template is that kind of part. We will now go on that. Go to the rules. Go to the rules. We'll go there. So the rule is J10. J10. And then click on search in the J10. So click on search. So the rule has come up. We will now edit it. Isn't it still in the draft format? In the edit rule, what happens is it goes there and then sees the final. So uh, the edit rule, I will now go to the terms template and then I'm going to see, you know, I will now assign this to the terms template. So we can apply this rule to all, now, apply to all templates also. It is not normally done. It will be done only to specific templates. So if I click on temp template, I click on password. We will now go to the place and then query for the template. J10, will now query for it. Only approved templates will be visible over here. So select it and then click on OK. So that's it now, I'm going to go So it is not done. J10 terms template is not ready. So you can assign it. And then if you go there, the rule will be applied. The rule will be visible on the template actually. Go there. So click on save now. Right? So the results column is what? This is going to be a rule for insertion of a what about insurance class. Go there. The result of the insurance class. Fine, go there. It is not done. And then that will be having the template now. And then the condition is what? If you say, if you answer to this question, you can even have multiple questions uh, queued up on space. 20, 30 questions you can ask him. Right? One by one, it will all be asked. So it may have multiple questions. questions. Hello, yeah. What is your question? It is the mandatory step to create the rule and constants. No, no. It is not a mandatory. It is desirable, actually. Rules and constants are desirable. It guides the what was your, uh, your contract administrator to appropriately choose a class for the contract, actually. No, but this concept is not there in R12. Oracle no, no. Uh, I, I, have not, I have not worked on the R12's uh, procurement contracts actually. Fine. So this may be an addition. I'm not sure about it. So the rules and constants is a desirable future. It is not a mandatory future. But if your contract administrator himself is very knowledgeable on all the classes, 30, 40 classes which are there, if he's knowledgeable, then there is no need for any guidelines for him. But many people prefer this uh, expert advisor. Expert advisor is going to put the questions to him and then he will answer it and then appropriately he will not include the class. So let me activate the rule. So the rule is going to be activated. If I click on activate, the activation is not taking place. Click on finish. The rule is activated. And remember, the rule has got a question, it has got a result of an insertion of a class, and then it has got a template now. Are you clear on this now? There are three things on a rule now. If I click on finish. Remember, the rule has got a question and then it has got a result of insertion of a class and then it is associated to a template. Now we go there and then query your template. Drop it down and then go to the template. And then query the template. Now you can see the rule coming up. 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 So click on what happens there. Click on the hyperlink on the moment. I'm not editing it. I'm just viewing it. I'm not editing it. So you go there. Anyway. So go there. Click on it. So the rule has got the warranty section. Fine. The expert advisor is enabled and then it is a mandatory also. So the rule, the template expert advisor is enabled. It is mandatory also. And if you go to the classes, by default, one class is added. One class is added. But in reality, they will not add anything at all. Through questions only, they will add everything. Even this also, they will not add it. Because the contact advisor, the contact administration needs some reasoning for including a class actually. And then if you go to the deliverables, the deliverables are available on the, on the terms now. And then if you go to the rules, the rule will come automatically over there. The rule is coming along with the question actually. These things are coming. So again, when I am creating a contract, what I will do is I will now populate only the J10 form now. Right? When, I, when I populate the J10, your line free form, I populate this now. Right? So the moment I populate it, this, this template will now get automatically up, uploaded. And then the template has got questions. The questions will now allow you to add classes. And then it has got deliverables. Everything will be coming on the contract, actually. It looks like somewhat vague, actually, as in when you keep on doing it. Now itself, you ask the doubts on this template. Now. I will again say, your template has got, can be applicable for this many documents. When I'm going to create a contract, what I will do is I'm not going to create it now. I'll show it to you. 
when i go there and then i create a contract no pakki kon cancel okay kon daru i am not going to create a contract no pakki kon click on the home icon and then here i am not going to create a contract go to space and then let me go to the contract management and then let me create a contract so if you go to the contract and then let me create a contract in this way so here if you give a plus when i am creating a contract what i will do is i will now populate my jdl lines free form now whether you know drop it off i will now say uh, jdl what i am open it is for lines and free forms actually when i put it and then the primary party i will now put the party over here now sub form you know that so you know primary party then i put on this thing for my and then click on save and continue my item master is also required so once when i put my j10 line free form in this place if you see j10 line line free form will auto populate your template the template has got a ready made classes or if not at least it has got a rule the rule will now guide the contract administrator to add classes actually this is for only one in session in fact what happens everything one of my student told that in this in this implementation they have the rules which is driving away all the all the insertion of all the classes actually in the contract the rule is going to drive it and then they normally make it as what mandatory also in this place what happens enabled and then they made the expert classes mandatory so through which only you will be able to do everything now are able to understand the link between the rules template classes under the contract any doubts on this just tell me this can be optional also no ah it can be optional also template can be optional if you remove weak mark it will be optional like fine this is the relationship between what the templates the rules which is there inside and then your uh, classes and then the contracts the four entities are all linked via this so when i go on and create a template for my uh, jden line free form automatically this template gets auto populated and this template will now put all the things it will now put the ready made class over there it will now put the deliverables over here now the rules will now ask you to what happens is the mandatory one we have to run the expert advisor and then add more classes if required and with that and then except except more things will be coming into the into the, into the contract it will be somewhat confusing and then instead of creating rules can we create multiple templates and tag these based on the line types so hey. that the uh... you don't see template is now going to populate certain things on the contract in automatically so if you go to go for lines or no lines we can use a template according to your preference so when you create a template you have to say which type of contract we are going to add in if i am going to have what happens a no lines document and then associate a template and then here when i am not creating anything now fine this line type is going to be a no lines one if i drop it down go there if you choose what happens a commercial service agreement now you see and i'm choosing it the item master is coming and i will not choose a commercial service agreement my item master will go away thank god the item master will not be there at all the item master will not be there only for lines the item master will be coming where we had to add lines we had to add the lines and then if it is going to be nda or anything like that there what happens there will not be any fulfillment at all when these things are all for no lines actually for a no lines contract type there will not be any fulfillment and so naturally what happens is that uh, the system will not populate any line and then so the output will not be there of a contract at all once when the contract is approved we will now print it and then give it to the supplier and then they have to oblige by this legally actually whereas if you go to bora buy fine buy is a no lines and then uh, yes lines also fine uh, no lines and yes lines so for which if you do anything then the item master will become the job to do that put on jdn and then go to app is a slightly complex one so i am again and again asking you if you have any doubt now it's will be asked you get and then you tap so great item also becomes mandatory and then we go to save and continue and then go for the round so so we will have a break now itself because i don't know what to break now i want to go in one stretch on the contract actually so i know what is so the creation of a rule the creation of a constant and questions and then the creation of a template and then the creative classes everything is complete actually the classes and template needs an approval so we are now approved it actually any questions on this now it will be somewhat vague as and when you proceed further what happens you will be understand good then i will now break now and then we will now come back it is now 625 so 645 we will now begin the next section
645 will not begin. In one go, we will not see the contact circle. Good then, fine. Bye now. We'll not be meeting at 6.45 again. Be here itself. I will be coming back at 6.45. Okay.